Golden Girls Father. Lots of people travel to the big station at the end of the line. There, engines from the other railway couple up and take the trains to London. These engines stay the night and go home the following morning. One day, Gordon was talking to one of these engines. When I was young, he said, I used to work in London. Do you know the place? The station there is called King's Cross. The engine scoffed. King's Cross, he snorted. What stupidity! The station in London is Euston. Everyone knows that. <coughs> they argued till they fell asleep. They argued when they woke up. They were still arguing when the other engine went back to the other rail. Would you just be quiet? Oh, stop quacking, Gordon. For all I know, you could be talking to a duck. Ha 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 ha. When Gordon left, he was still complaining. I know it's King's Cross, he huffed, and I'll go to prove it. But that was easier said than done. London was past the big station at the other end of the line. Gordon had to stop there so another engine could take the train to London. If I didn't stop, he thought, I could get to London. One day he raced right through the station. Next day he tried to stop before they could uncouple the coaches. Gordon tried everything but nothing worked. Oh well, he thought to himself, I'll never get to London. The next day Gordon pulled the express to the station as usual. He uncoupled from the coaches and went off to rest in a silence. The coaches waited and waited, but no engine came. Okay, I get it! Just shut up! The station master came out and spoke with the driver. The driver came back looking very excited. He told them what had happened. <coughs> Silly duck. Wait, what? Don't, uh, duck. Don't stop. Don't. Stop. Don't stupid duck. Don't. Get a hole. Get a hole, stupid bird. Hmm, so I'm not the only engine that thing bothers. Don't you understand what this means, Gordon? We can take the train to London! Hooray! said Gordon. He hurried away to couple up to the train. Soon Gordon was coupled up to the train. They waited and waited for the guard's whistle to blow. At last it blew. Poo poo, whistled Gordon. He steamed away. Come on, come on, come on, he puffed to the coaches. We're going to London, we're going to London, sang the coaches. What's he doing with that thing? Gordon hurried towards London. He found that London was farther away than he thought, but at last it came into view. Boo boo, whistled Gordon as he puffed. Dim grandly, everyone at the station cheered. He looked at the sign through all the steam. St. Pancras, he thought. 
Well, at least it's not Houston. Then the scheme started to go away, and Gordon saw the sign more clearly. St. Pond Cross, he gasped. What? Oh my god!